Bacon equals pig booty, that's right. The pig butt. Hey, look, it's the pig butt. People put mayonnaise in their soup? What? Yo, right on. Thanks, Giga. I must refrain and not make fun of somebody. Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear got appalled when he found out that I put mayo on my breakfast sandwiches. I could have sworn that was extremely common to put mayonnaise on your, like, BLTs and shit. Right? Isn't that, like, pretty common? Put mayo on BLTs or bacon, you know, bacon and egg sandwiches. Yeah, he probably just hates mayo, man. He's got a thing against mayo. Cause I'm telling you, like, that's pretty fucking common, man. Mayonnaise? Yo, Cliffy, remember he was- remember when Pooh was like, you put eggs in your scramble- or you put milk in your scrambled eggs? And we are like, that's like- that's the age-old secret, man. That's the- that's the- that's how you make scrambled eggs. <laughs> Cliffy, yeah, you were like, uh, we looked at- <laughs> we looked at each other, we were like, just like, roll your eyes. Just need a giant slab of butter. That's true. Milk and scrambled eggs. Yeah, I don't know, some people don't like it. Uh, some people- I'm not- I'm not judging, I just thought it was common, but some people are against some of like- And I know this is gonna sound weird, but some people are against some of like, the white liquids and creams. So, some people don't like mayo, milk, and like, creamer. Right? You know what I mean? Like, it's just- Sometimes the look and color of something can be a- You know, the- the- the deciding turnoff. Some people like anything, but if it smells weird, they don't- you know what I mean? So, like, everyone has different things. <laughs> Yo, Cliffy. When I, normally when I'm at MMC, I'm like, oh, I'll make my own breakfast, thanks. Thank you, though. <laughs> you're just watching them make it, you're like, I'll eat at one. <laughs> I'll skip breakfast today. But I also love that part about MMC, because it's it's almost like camping. It's just like a free-for-all in the kitchen. Everyone's just doing... And I fucking love that, man. French omelets are where it's at. It's very family... Dude, MMC is like... It's like every night is a sleepover, but we're adults, so this so we all go to sleep at like eleven or twelve. So it's I remember growing up when I was a kid with sleepovers, the nights were always the thing and the mornings were always the trouble. But at Mario Masters, it's the other way around. We we get so much more out of our mornings than we do of our nights. What did you say, Double Base? What did you say? Remember I told you that thing where you have to like reread your jokes? And if you reread it four times and it's not funny anymore, you should steer clear of that joke. Yeah, adult all-nighters. Yo, uh, Jeff, can you resend me the, um, the map stacking you made for the spade card because I was doing some weird spade card testings and I was getting some extremely weird results. Yo, I stuck I stuck my neck out for double base a long time ago, so I'm I'm in, man. I'm too far forward to go back, so 
Double base is that brother that you always have to like bail out of jail, get him out of social situations, drive him home. Right, you gotta go see the principal. I know, that, yeah, that's fine to say double bass, that's fine. I already said that this is gonna sound, this is gonna sound gross when I say it, so. But, my thing, my thing with, with foods, smells don't really turn me off, and w colors, colors don't really turn me off, it's uh, textures. There's certain textures that I have a lot of trouble swallowing, so like fat, fat on steaks, I have to be extremely cautious when i cut the fat off because i can't like i can't swallow it it, it, it really upsets my throat kind of makes me gag a little bit which sucks because it's like a it's instant right i can't control it i can't just like tough toughen up buckaroo and swallow you know what i mean like i can't it doesn't work like that it's like a reflex and that's that's kind of with, so with certain textures with food for me really screw me over but I'm fine with smells and colors, that doesn't bother me. Did you send the maps or the correlations? Because I already have the maps. I need what it's what they look like when they're stacked. Both? Okay. Yeah, I just need to see the stack. I was seeing if there is a way. So get bear with me guys. I'm trying to figure out a huge break in Mario 3. I'm trying to find I'm trying to figure out something huge that just completely breaks a part of Mario 3. And it involves doing the manipulation. It involves doing the spade card manipulation. And what I want to do is I want to spawn the spade card in world three over the water, which has been done before. And I want to see that if I beat the spade card over top of water in the boat, if that tile turns into a normal tile on the map, because if that happens, then I want to try and spawn the spade card near the castle and see if the boat see if I can pretty much skip world 3 but I just have to see where the tiles overlay and if if not because I've had it over the water before but I don't think I can get it to go that far but the map has weird things where if you screen transition with the last level in the overworld and then do something in the next world to spawn the spade card and it's jank positioning then it weird things happen man i think the way the maps stack i think the way the map stack is important but also there's some weird things to it because if the spade card turns the tile on the water into a normal tile, then I might be able to use it as an actual tile to get back onto the map by the castle in World 3. Because I'm on the boat, and I... That would be crazy, dude. No coordinates. I think that's how we had it. Dude, I'm pretty sure we've spoken on Discord before, haven't we, Jeff? Because I tried to I tried to message you a couple days ago. And I tried to search up your name in my chat history and your name didn't pop up. Yes, you need to dock you need the dock tile, but you need the dock tile when you're on the water. So if I'm already on a normal map space, it might change it. Hi everybody. 
Teddy. Black Forest Cake is pretty okay, but I like Black Forest Ham better. I'm an ice cream cake kind of guy. I like normal cakes, but talk about boring. Ice cream cake is like insane with the crumble and the chocolate melt on the inside. <laughs> ice cream cake is the thing. The ham is also legit. Cheesecake is pretty good too. Ice cream cake from Dairy Queen, that's pretty good, man. That's some good stuff right there. What is the definition of a cake? I am the definition of cake? What you say? What are you trying to say? Cake is a large muffin without the overflow. A cake is a muffin with a better recipe. But now cakes cover a wide range of preparations. There we go, baby. Ice cream cake's a cake. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Got him! Screen grab number one. <laughs> How many sandwiches? where I get Runaway Bro and the Hammer Brother is the second last level in the game in the world. Nice. That's like a nine second time loss, my favorite. Fantastic. What a surprise. I knew I wasn't gonna get this because I got off screen long grab. I knew it. I knew it, dude. And I half got it, too. I half got it. I actually don't need to door three because I got off-screen long grab. If the Hammer Brother runs away here, though, I will go for door three. So it's up to the game now, guys. It's up to the game. What am I doing? What am I doing? I just did a full big jump for no reason. I think I was concentrating too much on door three. Well, now we're going for door three. Up to the game now. Now we're going for door three. I'm setting up for D3, yeah. That's right, the manipulation. Make it rain! Got him. What is this World 3? This World 3 has such a very confusing time. <laughs> this is the jankest run. <laughs> Move left! Fuck! If I save time in this world, like, how, man? No PCB 3 2, fucked up 3 3, like bad. That wasn't like a, you know, that wasn't like an extra turn back mess up. 
That was a bad mess up. We'll know what our time is like when we press A on 3-6. So when I press the A button on 3-6, if it's below a 1550, then it's a pretty good world. And it's looking like it's going to be pretty close to that. So even with off-screen wand grab, it allowed us to make a few mistakes. Looks like we're breaking about even in this world. So it's still actually a pretty bad world. A 15-23 A press on this level this is a pretty bad world. Not even off-screen wand grab can save that 3-3 I did. Or door 3. Uh, the runs today are awesome. Door 3 should save over 3 seconds. Just a little bit. 3 for 3. That's... Yeah, see, there you go. 15.50 is what it would have been without that bump. So, it turned in... Out of all the jankness, this turned into a standard run. Nothing special, sadly. I would have liked to have really got on, onto that off-screen wand grab. I, I could have got a gold. You know, I could have lowered that sub of S. But we still have World 4s and World 5s and World 7s off-screen wand grab. There's no time. Mario's favorite music is Mamma Mia. That's good, man. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good one. I love shitty jokes. Corny dad jokes, the best. See what you did there, milk fat. This guy. there we did it we're in there we see if i get the spade card to spawn two tiles above this castle and then land on it on the boat and then whenever i beat the spade card if it flips over and takes away the water tile and puts a land tile I'm wondering if that will allow me to move on to the land. I'm almost certain it would. I am almost certain it would allow me to walk, scroll onto the land and enter the castle. And that would be a legitimate viable strat in Warpless.
I'm not making it up, I swear. He's fibbing. What a weird world three, man. What a weird world three. I'll have to, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to open up an emulator and I'll have to manually put a spade card there and then test it to see if it would work. But I really feel like it would. The only thing, the only thing that would stop it is how the game reads the boat if you're on land, which the boat's never been on land. So I don't, like, I don't know if you get locked like, you, like, I don't know if it's soft lock. Like, you wouldn't be able to move in any direction, right? So, I'm not sure. Because we've never done it before, right? Uh, Jeff, what, pos what level spawns the spade card on the water? For me to at least test it. I've heard that one, JP. The, the king is Mario. That's the that's the real Mario, the king of Japan. Well, I'd have to learn how to manually manually put in the i don't know how to do that so that would take me a little bit of time to figure out so I w i'm not going to do it after this run or anything what the heck was that? two five would spawn it on the water So then, so then two pyramid would be better, right? Because two pyramid is just like three, three to six spaces over, right? Dude, these hammer brothers have been really bad tonight. It takes one million Mitches. Guaranteed another movement of one, I'm happy. They call it a Royale with Mitch. Come on, HB. HB, don't be like that, HB. Come on. HB, nice. Watch out for that bullet, man. That bullet at the end of the level screwed me over one time. I probably would have got peace speed if I jumped up on that question block. Very tough level.
macro shot. What is your worst RNG with Hammer Bro movements? That's an impossible question to answer. Impossible. Ask World 2, yeah. The worst RNG is always moving right, never moving left. And it'll be like that until the end of time. Why does Mario want to be a celebrity? Answer, because being a star makes you invisible. Or invincible, sorry. I'd never heard that one before. The four four, the four four five four two in the all fours the other night was pretty jank. What are those numbers? What's the four four five four two? Oh, my movements. Yeah, I got a movement of four, then a movement of four, then a movement of five, then four, then two. I don't think you can get a movement of five though. It would be- it would have been a movement of six. Well, no, because I can get... One, two, three, f no, yeah. I might have called a five at the time, I could have been mistaken. I don't think I'm in the right frame of mind when I run all forts. So, you're most likely right. <laughs> Movement of six, even better. Yay. All right, if we get off-screen one grab here, I'm going to pop off so hard. That's two in one run. Come on, don't let me down. Everyone here has got to go to my Twitter and answer my name that tune trivia. And like I said, don't name the band, name the tune, and write it in the comments on Twitter. And of course, like it, because it's awesome. You see me like swerve around? I was like all over the place. <sighs> that was it, too. Whee! Yo, hey, welcome Mitch. back, nine I months. Into a good run. That was almost expensive. Oh. Yeah, this run's pretty good, I guess. It's all right. World five is gonna ruin it. World five ruins everything. Oh yeah, it was still awesome. The hype, right? Right away, a movement of four, right off the bat. So I'm already losing time. I'm no longer minus two anymore. Probably about plus 0.0. .0. I got two more tries. I got World 5 and World 7. But, I mean, to be in World 7, I'd have to be on pretty decent pace. I was getting a movement of 4 anyways. Yo, Orange Hologram, what's up, man? Why do I have to sneeze right now? Okay, now I can sneeze. I'm good. I can, I can survive the sneeze right now. Whee! 
Thanks. I may be the master of World 5, but I'm not in control of my time saves or losses, sadly. Yo, T-Rex, what up, dude? Sup. I'm a T-Rex. Uh, I think I landed on the ground. Yep. That's okay, though. Yeah, you're the T-Rex hunter. That's right. I forgot. I have a feeling he didn't move out of there. You unfortunately cannot name that tune. Here is 100 bits to make you feel better for your effort attempt for World Clip. Yeah, thanks, JP. I really appreciate that. Am I a fast typer? No, I'm sloppy. Sadly. I'm not a very good typer. Yeah, what up, Force Kitty? Thank you. My first host, guys! My first host today! It's from my woman! Oh, uh, I had a frame perfect jump there. Alright, now as long as I don't jump out of the pipe in 5 4, I should be alright. That's a pretty decent Hammer Brothers spot. It's just it's scary because he has to travel back across the fort again. And if I jump out of the side pipe, I'll only get one coin. So I have to make sure that I don't. Uh, I'm not a good typer, no. Dude, I bumped in the same spot there twice today. There's something about my movement there that's just really bad. So, I I have a pretty high chance here of getting lucky. I mean, I guess it's even. He can move left, he can move left and down, he can move right across seven, or he can move down one. Three of the movements I'm okay with, and one of the movements I'm not okay with. So, with what I'm willing to allow happen, I guess my odds should be pretty good, but this game doesn't work on odds. This, work, this game works on emotions. So I have to pretend like I'm not emotionally desperate for this movement of one, pretend like I don't care, and hopefully I trick it. Left and down is not okay, yeah. If he's facing right, I'm safe instantly. Yeah, right on. So he did exactly what I wanted him to do, and that's because I deprived myself of all emotions in this game. You ha you must be a robot. Oh, I'm world record pace. I don't care. What a babe. You get salty when a girl beats you in typing? Why? What? What difference does it make? Kaylee's a way better typer than me. Way better. I'm a, I'm a faster person by nature, but I... I'm sloppy when I type. I never practice. I've never really gotten good at typing. I'm fixing mistakes all the... My fingers are always... Like, I'm fast, and that's my curse, right? So, I'm by, by being fast, I'm not fast.
Somebody said that they get salty when girl beats them in Titan. What, what do you mean you don't know what you just listened to? I'm confused. Thirty-five, thirty-eight. That's actually a pretty decent. Uh, I jump before entering the pipe so I can keep P speed on the other side of the pipe. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are typing. What are you guys are talking about? Somebody said I read what somebody had said. I feel like you guys might be extending it or something. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm just playing Mario. And Mario is as PC as it gets, so... Get booked. Who gives a shit about what gender good type is? Apparently somebody in chat does. Didn't you guys hear? Female fingers are different than male fingers. Dude, if we replace my A and B button, I would be all over the place. Okay, if I get the off-screen wand grab here, I'm gonna lose my shit, man. Can we ban this sexist dude? Yeah, I don't remember his name, but you guys can ban who is ever being just ridiculous towards the topic. I don't know who it is. Oh, is that him? Some dude named Town West or something? Yo, Abe, what's going on, man? Love you, Mitch. Good to see you. I will keep up the grind. Dude. I've pretty much gotten two off-screen wand grabs this run. I mean, World 4 was pretty much an off-screen wand grab. I missed it by like a pixel. So if I get it here, pop off. Oh, you guys saw it in me. I wanted it. You guys saw it inside me. Guys, quit bullying him. You can't justify another person by bullying them. If you're bullying them, you're just stooping as low. Don't stop bullying him. He probably said one thing. He might want to take it back. Who knows? Just stop, you know? I didn't off-screen wand grab because you guys were bullying. Thanks. Wow. What? I didn't realize I did it so fast. We are a family. We have to stick together, guys. Even if it means getting movement of six. I had to do so much fixing there. Can one of my mods put it in emote mode only for one minute, please? No, 30. Can you do 30 seconds? No, one minute, one minute. Emote mode for one minute. <laughs> you guys! You can still talk because you're a mod. Yeah, get wrecked, nerds. That's right. Haxer's here. <laughs> MF! I love my MFP, LOL, the Bowser. 
I think it's ruining my MFP LUL, which is good, but not as good. All right, we can take it out of uh, emote mode. All right, that's enough. Thank you. Whee! Well, I can't. You have to wait 30 days when you change the prefix. One of us, Google Gobble. Google Gobble. Yeah, we're getting some thick movements of one here, guys. Remember last time I died here, but all I had to do was flutter and I would have survived? I remember. I remember. Okay, big jump. There we go. The big jump is the security that I won't rebuild P speed. Did the room just put in time out? I don't know what you're asking. All I know is I'm getting a lot of movements of one here. Orb side down, that's right. Oh, no way. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm not that blessed. You don't get 6-3 and 6-4 in one run. Worlds will collide if that happens. One or the other. You guys are naughty chatters. Jinxed it now. with what I had, man. I worked with what I had. A movement of one is good, yes. Don't you dare go back there. Don't you dare. I swear... Thank God. They were really, really big bros. That was some tight bro movements. Is it Pepperidge Farm remembers? I have no idea. What about Petri Pe I don't know anything about Pepperidge. What is Pepperidge Farm? Isn't it like a, some kind of food company or something? What do they make? Butter? Bread? I don't know what they make. I don't know what it is. What are we talking about? Who am I? What's happening? They make cookies. Obviously not that good cookies, if you guys can't remember their slogan. Their cookies are so good that you guys can't remember. Right? We all remember the goldfish song. And why is that? Because they're good. They're mid F tier. They're not even close to S. There's a goldfish, yeah. Gone goldfish. And they got a little jingle. You guys go to Google and, and search Viva Puffs. Those are Canada's little mushroom or marshmallow cookie thing. They're called Viva Puffs. V-I-V-A Puffs. Well, that was awkward, but it worked, I guess. 
Viva Pups. <laughs> Give me those. You guys can also search uh, a Joe Louie. <laughs> I don't know where they come up with these names. You guys can search up a Joe Louie. Joe Louis are good, man. I miss those. You guys remember Dunkaroos? Oh my god. My taste buds just popped off in, in remembrance. Gushers. <laughs> More like Dankaroos. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I'm te I have tears in my eyes. That's so funny. You guys all have to go to my Twitter right now and play my Name That Tune game and give it a like so that I can keep making more drum stuff. You guys gotta go Name That Tune. No cheating. I want the tune, not the band. I would never play Mario 3 with the drum set. It's such an overplayed. I said, if you call it Blink-182, I hate you. I say in the title of the tweet, I hate all of you if you say Blink-182. It's not Blink-182. Blink-183. Yo, dope Blink-185 color. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. The song, not the band, Stewie. The song. <laughs> It'll never, you'll never match Blink 182. More like Boxcar Try Hard. Yeah, it's Boxcar Racer. The song is called Mumbo Number no. 5. Is it Squint 96? What? My eyes are just naturally closed more than others, okay? Thanks for making fun of my eyes. I'm a Justin Believer. Believer? Guys, what, what song cover should I do next? The singer's from Blink-182. <laughs> I should do Blink-182. You guys are gonna get a hurt real bad. I should do Protest the Hero. If I were to do Protest the Hero, I would do something from Blindfolds Aside. Call me maybe. Tempting, tempting. What? What is this life I live? Travis McBarkley? You guys better went and guessed that tune and liked it. I've noticed that nobody has actually said the name of the song in chat yet. I thought you guys knew music. It, this is our era of music. This is what we grew up in, most of us. More spaghetti. It's on my Twitter, Angelic Jade. My latest tweet. It's okay. The, the, the entire conversation had no value. We're honestly just making fun of each other. Literally for the past five minutes. About Blink-186. Best band. I feel so is... Actually, the best song on that album, by the way. My four favorite songs on that Boxcar Racer album is I Feel So, Watch the World, Cat Like Thief, and Elevator. Oh, what a 
troll, dude. I fucking hate this level. I can listen to Boxcar Racer more than I can listen to Blink-182. Like I always tell you guys, I'm not in high school, and I don't complain about getting dumped anymore. And I don't have issues with parents, so Blink-182 is extremely hard to listen to. I even tried to listen to their new album. What it, They had a song on their new album with a music video called like Dark Side or something, is that what it's called? And it literally it's a bunch of old men in like a grade school gym with a bunch of kids. Again, extremely unrelatable. That's the furthest of something that I could relate to as possible. I don't know if New Blink's bad or not. I'm just saying I can't relate to the one song in the video that I heard. Not that I have to be able to relate to music, but I mean, it's so far from my spectrum. Like when Blink-182 like sings about space and shit, like I'm down, you know? Plus 4-4, four, four. or plus 44, right? Yeah, don't they have like, doesn't Blink-182 have like a good guitarist now or something? Sea creatures, sea creatures, and sea creatures are the sea creatures of the sea. Creatures in the sea are sea creatures, sea. I'm in the sea with sea creatures. Blink songs do pretty good. I should really listen to the whole album. I kind of like skimmed through it a bit. Albums, oh man, albums are weird. Song one and three and the last song are always like bangers. And then all the middle songs, it's like the band didn't, you know? I like bands where like every single song in the album is just as good as the first and last. Right, I want to see an album where more work is put into song number two than- STOP! This guy, man, he's not being a homie. Oh my god, this fish again. I'm fucking stuck, man! GOD DAMN IT! UNBELIEVABLE! GOD! I got stuck! Jesus! Uh, yes, it seemed to be unbelievable. What just happened? God, I can't even imagine how much time I just lost there. It was so fucking cheap, man. God damn it. I'm, I'm never going up there again. I'm staying down though, man. Fuck that. Now I got a cloud like a jerk. I just lost so much time. It was cheap, man. I had nothing left to do but yell at them. I hope I don't get fucked over here again. Nice. Ooh, I, I almost didn't make it. <laughs> this run sucks. Until I get 7-7 seven, seven first try, then it's actually kind of good again.
I'm free! Do you like Mario Bros? Ah, a little too over. Ooh, third try, not bad. I got a second try in my PB, so that's kind of okay. That's kind of okay, I guess. My last big time save. That was my last big time save. It's gone. 270 is not too bad, I guess. There's no trick to getting that sub pixel more. No, I wish. what I just did, but I'm going. What the fuck, game? Honestly! So fucking garbage, dude. Why does it always do this on a run that's good? There's nothing wrong with my strategies for this. It's so fucking obnoxious, man. Like, the only way to fuck me over there was my down input. Now, I have no idea what the boss pattern is. No clue. I'm not gonna know what it is. So now, I don't get to save that time. Unfucking believable. The only reason I messed that up is that stupid down input. So stupid, man. It's just a waste, man. It's a waste of 7-7. Seven, seven. From something so dumb. Remember when you said he jumped? I remember, Giga. I remember you, you fucked me over. But we did we learn from it? It's been so long. Am I ready to listen? I don't know. You guys have to go easy on me. Yo, thank you for the subs, guys. I'm a little focused, though. This World 7 has just been a roller coaster of emotions. We would have been on PB pace if a, a simple duck input. That's all it was. That's all I needed was a duck input, I swear to God. That's... It, it completely fucked me over. My headset's dying right now. What a great time for it to die. Like, I'm pretty sure this boss, like, legit, he just, like, jumps right away, doesn't he? Like, I I don't even know if I can fire kill him. I can only wish for the fire kill. Heh, <laughs> 90%. 84%. The duckin' gave me a fucking... I was definitely on PB pace until the fortress screwed me over. Oh. And the fortress had to screw me over because I was on PB pace. It's it's the way this game works is it's just embarrassing. The way that stuff it's it was the universe, man. It wasn't even me that made that mistake. I don't even know how like all I have to do is press down. If I don't press down, I lose there, which is what happens. So why wouldn't I press down? Damn it. I could have. I could have. At least I know the pattern now. God damn it. Ah, it's so annoying. Bleep, 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 
I think my time saves in World 8 is like one second. I mean, I could go for P-Speed and Hand Trap 2 and save 1.5 seconds. The only problem with that is... Uh, the only problem with that is... Uh, I haven't done it in a while, so I don't actually... I know, I remember how to do it, I don't remember my jumps afterwards. And if I don't remember my jumps afterwards, then I'm not actually going to save time because I'm just going to be turn backing a bunch. Now, this run is still really good, though. Trap 2 P speed is really easy. If you've if you've done 5 1 P speed and 4 5 P speed, then you'll be pretty good with it. I don't I have no idea how we didn't come up with it before. Like I have absolutely no clue how we just this little tiny hidden gem. At least he moved backwards, but he's a little slow. It does, it saves a second, which is a lot with one level. One level second save is, is pretty good. Nah, no Wrangless, I know. Remind me of how shitty I am. It's, uh, okay, Hand Trap 2 is, um, is like 5-8 early P-Speed. That's exactly what it's like. Yeah, you can kill the Boomerang Bro before he throws the Boomerang, and that saves... I think a little over a second. No, it's like 70.7. 70, 70. I was gonna say 70 frames. 8.5 is easier, that's true. But as far as the trick goes, it's it, they're they're like they're the same. Right? Like I consider 4.5 and 5.1 to be the same the same kind of tricks with the manipulation of the P-meter. You, you follow the same formula, but 4-5 is harder than 5-1. 8-5. Five, 5-8? Five. Five, I have to get all the hands in this category, which is pretty good. But if I skip the animation of the hand coming in and grabbing me, I save time. However, in my PB, I think I got no hands, so time save is not there. Eight one and two eight. Alrighty then. I'll need all the luck in the world to get past two eight. That level that exists and is so difficult. I figured out how to eliminate Sun RNG. I think I already told you guys though. Alright, so I got all three hands. There you go, guys. See? My hand RNG is bad. What? My A input? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, that's two serious A inputs this run. I think. I think that's this run. I mean, if you're thinking about A inputs, I guess... Three months for three hands. We love you, Mitch. Thanks, man. What up? 
Welcome back. Isn't the coin ship a level? Is coin ship not a level? You think the hands are dumb if it's RNG? Like, every game, like, so do you think Pokemon's dumb because it's all RNG pretty much? And if you do, you better not say that in chat because a lot of people are going to be upset. Because Pokemon isn't dumb. I like Pokemon. Yeah, this level sucks. I do in a way where RNG can fuck me. Nope. Oh, come on, dude. That's so stupid. The hill. It's because that one fireball for some reason didn't reach. It didn't reach. Instead of changing your mind, how about I tell you that Mario 3 is the exact same way, Flamester. Now what are you gonna do? Get fucked, troll! What's the world record on this game? For which category? Fabric of being alive, sorry. Puts are really dicking me around. All right, how are we gonna do this, guys? Let's go over here. And what is? Where does this wall take me? I don't know. Dude, my A inputs have been dicking me around all run, man. Or at least some of my inputs. Yeah, we in there. Does this take me to Bowser?
think it does. That's dying. Dude, he's got no pee pee. Eleven twenty-eight. That's actually that would be like a great, uh, that would be a great marathon time. One eleven twenty-eight used to be one of my PBs. 